Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I'm dressed a little bit ironically today in my flannel as I talk about the Parker Urban Premium. At $63, this pen is a pretty solid mid-range stainless steel nib pen. Um, there's a lot of good pens in this price range, uh, but what makes this one kind of stand out is some of the color options and the unique shape that the Urban has. So the Urban is not a new pen model, but these are three new finishes that they haven't come out with before. And it's going to be regularly available, it's not a limited edition or anything like that. So the pattern on it harkens back to a Parker Vacumatic vintage pen that Parker used to offer. And it's a little bit more subtle design than on the new Parker IM Premium, but it's similar. And there's three different finishes. There's Amethyst Pearl with a chrome trim, there's Golden Pearl with a gold trim, and Silver Blue Pearl with chrome trim. This pen is fairly lightweight. It's only 22 grams overall. So even though it's a metal pen, it's pretty light. It's actually the same weight as a Lamy All-Star. I think this pen's made of aluminum too, so that kind of makes sense as to why it would be that weight. It's comfortable in the hand, posted or unposted. It's nice balance. It's not a heavy pen, so to have it balance well is not too difficult. And the thing that I like about it is the curvature to it. So even when you have the cap posted on the back, you still get this kind of nice swooping curve, which is really unique to the Urban. There's only one nib option available on the Urban. It's a medium sized nib. And because Parker's a European brand, their nib is gonna be a little bit broader than maybe some of the Japanese pens. It's gonna be similar to say a Lamy or some other European pen brand. It's gonna be a pretty smooth nib and the flow is pretty wet, fairly consistent. It has a little bit of a sweet spot to it, but it's never been anything that's really bothered me. You can get used to it pretty easily. And if you're familiar with the Parker IM at all, it's the exact same nib that's used on the Urban. The Urban is a snap cap that really snaps pretty positively. So it's very just affirming when you snap that thing. You know it's on there securely. And then it pushes to post on the back, which is also fairly secure. So the thing that I like about this is when you're in a work setting, especially if you're going to meetings and things like that, where you might take quick notes just jotting things down and then you want to cap it again, it's very easy to do that. You don't have to deal with screw threads or anything like that. And the cap itself has an insert on the inside, so it stays sealed up pretty well. So it's a great pen if you aren't going to be using it you know, every single day. If you want to kind of space it out in between, it's a great secondary or tertiary pen. And you can just use it every so often and it won't dry out as easily as maybe some other pens would. The only thing I'm not as crazy about with this pen is the fact that it uses a Parker proprietary cartridge and converter. All Parker pens are like that, so I'm kind of used to it. Um, and the cartridge itself does have a really good ink capacity, it's especially great if you want to refill it with an ink syringe or whatever, but they don't have a lot of color options in the Parker ink cartridges. So if you want to use bottled ink, really you're kind of going to need to get a converter, which is not included with the pen. And it's a $10 converter, so it's something you're going to have to factor into the price of the pen when you go to purchase it. For more details and up-to-date specs about the Parker Urban Premium, check it out on GouletPens.com. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.